Hey guys, I wanted to do this video and I wanted to address an issue with one of our customers on newhvacguide.com. I'll put a link to that website down below. But one of the things we were talking about is this customer was kind of just, you know, they were talking to me about their situation and they had gotten a few quotes from a few different contractors and they just had a few questions. And one of those questions, so if you see this video, the, the guy that I was talking to about this, one of those questions was he was basically just saying, look, none of these companies have really done a proper heat load calculation and I have had these issues in the past. And I explained to him, I was like, you know, even if you have to pay for it, you know, even if you have to ask someone to do it and you have to pay for it to be done, it would probably be in your best interest based on these past issues that you've had to have a proper heat load calculation done. And one of those companies said to him, well, we'll do the heat load calculation if you choose us. If you, if you pick us out of the proposals that you've gotten so far, we will then do a heat load calculation and all that stuff. I thought that was a little weird. I, you know, I kind of talked to him about it, but I, let, me, let me just address that in this video. And let me just say, if you do have a contractor that says something to that effect, if they say, look, you know, we'll do a heat load calculation after you choose us, after you pick us and the system that we're trying to sell you, here's the main issue I would have with that. In the defense of the heating and air company, they may be just saying that because they're like, look, I, I'm not gonna do one for free. And you know, I'm not gonna you know, waste my time and go out there and do a proper heat load calculation just for you to get the size that you need for your home from me and then choose someone else. So maybe that's why they said that. My only issue with that is let's just say they do the heat load calculation. So you choose them, you know, so you, you know, you've, you've gotten three quotes, you know, you got a, a three ton Linux, a three ton train and a three ton carrier, right? So you got your three quotes and each one, you know, each one of them is telling you why you should choose them. And you're, you know, you're trying to figure out who you like and all that good stuff. Let's say you pick you know, one of these companies. So you now got one company left. You've chosen them for whatever reason to do your system. And you know, they're doing a three ton system and this many sear and so on, right? What if they do their heat load calculation and they find out that it is not sized properly? right? So the three ton is either too big or too small for the space. And now they've now got to adjust it and change it up, right? So now you've got a, a company that you've chosen, you've maybe even signed a contract with, right? And now they're telling you that they either need more money or God forbid they, you know, put in a wrong size system or they go and they put in a smaller system because that's what the eat low calculation calls for, but then they still charge you for the three ton, right? So I'm, I'm just kind of throwing some things out there. Uh, just kind of mental notes, you know, just kind of riffing on that. But that that's a little weird, in my opinion. So I think that, again, if even if you have to pay for it, have one of those companies do a proper heat load calculation. And let's find out, you know, what is, so we can compare apples to apples. What are we, you know, what are we going for here? So hopefully that makes sense. Now, some of you, I, I was just talking to a guy just last night, I believe it was, or maybe it was the night before, but we were just kind of messaging back and forth on YouTube and he was saying, hey, you know, I looked up on this website that, you know, my house is this many square feet. And so I'm just kind of trying to decide, you know, I'm kind of in between those two square feet. So, you know, should I go with this size system or that size system? And I just want you to know there's so much garbage on the internet, uh, not just about heating and air, but let's just only talk about heating and air. I'm not, I'm not gonna get into all that other, right? But just with heating and air, those websites that give you that kind of rule of thumb, you know, general idea of what size your system should be, those are just rule of thumbs. They're just, you know, general something that someone has thrown together. It's not a proper heat load calculation. Again, I'm a common sense kind of guy. So if you've always had a three ton system in that house and you've never had any issues and everything was, you know, sized right from the get go and installed right and so on, then, you know, I'm a common sense kind of guy. I'm not saying you need to have a heat load calculation done at that point, right? But when they do a heat load calculation, it's not just square footage. They're gonna take into account cubic feet of that house. So in other words, how high are the ceilings? What are the R ratings of all the insulation, ceiling, floor, walls? How many windows are there? 
how many appliances, this, that, you know, even things like, you know, uh, a hot tub and, and things like that. These all play a role in what size system you need. What part of the country are you in, right? You know, just to say, oh, well, it's this many square feet. So, I, and I'm in Florida and it says I need this size of system. You know, you take that same exact thought process and you go all the way over to the other side of the country. And let's say we're now in Oregon and in Oregon, it's that many square feet, but now you've got double the height of the ceilings and the insulation's different and whatever. Square footage is useless at that point. Not all houses are created equal, right? And then finally, if you are in the market for a new heating and air system, if you're in the Middle Peninsula or Northern Neck of Virginia, give us a call, Griffin Air. We would love to earn your business. But if you're not in our coverage area, you're somewhere else in the country and you are in the market for a new heating and air system, before you spend thousands, check out my new website, it's called newhvacguide.com. I'll put a link to it down in the comments. And this website, I basically wrote a book, made it a guide, put it on this website, and instead of having a book that would be outdated within a year or two, I'm able to constantly add things on there if new things come out. And the other thing is I've even put information on there that people in our industry don't even want you to know. So I've got a whole page called no-nos and you know just things to stay away from and so on. That being said, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.